this is a tutorial on how to back up your BlackBerry device. Um, basically, in order to do that, you need to use your CD-ROM that came with your BlackBerry. Alternatively, you can Google the word BlackBerry and then go into the BlackBerry website. Go into apps and software. And let's go for desktop software. And it, um, download and install the relevant software for your PC or Mac. I'll just click download for PC and then just go for the terms and conditions etc and then click download but I've already downloaded and installed it already and then the next thing you need to do is plug your BlackBerry in with the USB cable that it came with which I'm going to do now Okay. Um, it usually installs itself but I've already plugged this device in but once it is installed you click the BlackBerry desktop software and as you can see I've got uh, 8520 um, if you do have a SIM card plugged in then you'll, it'll display your phone number there it's got a pin number and you've got options there like syncing and device backup I'm gonna go for a backup now and you've got a couple options full quick and custom I'm gonna go for full backup and obviously I'm happy with the date and where it's backing it up to you can also encrypt it if need be or even say don't ask for these settings again and just click the backup and it'll literally back up um, it's just gonna go through backing up all the records etc on the handset it's gonna do it quite quick because this is quite a fresh handset and as you can see your backup is complete and in order to do a restore you click device and you've got a restore button there and then you'll see literally um, the, the, the backup that we've done today in that location and you can also be a bit more granular of what you want it to restore say for instance you get a new handset um, and also you've got some other options here for syncing especially for, for those of you that utilize it for calendar and contacts you go into device options you go to organizer data click OK and you go into organizer and you've got contacts and you can always sync it with Outlook or, or, con or Windows contacts I've got with Outlook click OK and then you can be a lot more granular in there with what calendar you want to sync it with some people have several calendars they want and there's some more options in there but I'll just click out of that and also calendar pretty much looks the same two way sync between computer and device one way device only one way to computer a lot of people um, tend to do two way because sometimes they may update on their device, sometimes they may update on their um, Outlook side. But um, if you go into here, you've got some more options here. What to do with conflicts, etc. Because sometimes you may have two contacts and it may get a bit confused. But um, that's the end of this tutorial. If you've got any questions, um, please post a comment on the um, YouTube clip and look forward to my um, other um, YouTube clips.